Hello everyone, today's video is about the Polestar LE1K solid state 1 kilowatt amplifier that you can see here. I have this amp since last Dayton invention where I bought it there and I really, really, really like it. And let me tell you, the people at Polestar are very special. They are very nice people. And uh, this is one of the main reasons why I choose Polestar as a solid state amplifier. This was on my wish list when I went to Dayton and I brought this one back. I've been using it for a few months and I'm very, very, very happy about it. And also the people at Polestar give a very, very good support. And this amp is just a pleasure to operate. Uh, it's fully automatic. It covers from six to 160 meter, and you get a little bit more of a thousand watts. But if you drive it, uh, so you won't exceed too much over a thousand watt. Let me let's say between a thousand and a thousand fifty watt. You will have a very very clean signal. I get very good comments about my signal, my audio, and everything. So. This amp does a fantastic job on the HF band and it's fully automatic. I really like the fact that it is RF sensing. If you are like me guys that you have multiple HF radio in your shack and once in a while you want to switch radio and operate the one that you would like to operate on that day, well you don't need to have a cable to control the amp uh, to control this amp. It will detect the RF. So what I did is I have a PTT uh, connection center so when I PTT any of those it will key the amp so this is important RF sensing does not mean that it is PTT sensing okay so this is important but it will detect I will show you uh, further on in this video it will detect the RF and it will uh, select the correct band so this is very nice it's giving you in the display the SWR and now with the new firmware it's showing you the SWR even if you are in standby mode so this is very very good so let's proceed with this review well I'm showing you the main menu and everything and we'll be back after when you get the amp in the box you will find that is very very well packed and you will find two AC cable, one for 110 volts and the other one for 220. It's strongly suggested to take the 220 volts cable. This is important if you want to have the full power output like this. This is the 220. And you have the amp with the manual. This is the rear panel and what we can see, we can connect a radio to control it, but this is not necessary with RF sensing. You also have a pure signal port or what we call a low distortion port. When you turn on the amp, you see quickly the firmware version. It's very simple. You see power in watts. Now I'm in standby mode. That means the scale for the power meter is from 0 to 140 watts. If you put it in operate, the scale will be from 0 to 1400 watts, so 10 times more. The F air is the frequency it will detect by RF sensing. I'm currently on 160 meter on my radio, so I will transmit and you'll see it will switch on 160 meter. And what you can see is actually the frequency I transmitted on, 1860. And you see the watt meter as well. I have around 60 watt of drive. If I put it in operate and do a switch, then you can see a thousand watt that's on 160 meter you get higher performance on the other bands around 1200 you can select the band manually if you like okay but as you can see it detect automatically the rf because there's no data cable or interface cable between my amp and the radio you can select the antenna port from here okay so all mine are on one when you go in the menu you can adjust the ALC and you click exit and you come back to the main screen. But if you click next, then you can change standby, last use or operate as a starting mode. So you can go in starting mode automatically and operate standby or the previous setting that you had the last time you shut it down. Let's leave it to standby. Then you can adjust the black light of the screen. I is a few seconds when you you, you remove your finger from the screen, it will dim. It will dim to the low, okay? So I set up both the same way so I can film, actually film the screen correctly. And 
oops, sorry, then you have the ALC again. So that's it for the menu. It's very, very, very simple. As you can see, I have the radio air, which is on 160 meter. And I have this radio air, which is on 80 meter. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the amp in operate. Currently, the radio air is actually on ground, and this one is connected to the dummy load. But you can see also that the amp is on 40 meter. But let's check that out. I will transmit with this radio and remember there is no interface cable between any of my radio and the amp. So I will transmit with the TS990 Air on 160 meter and look at the amp it's going to change. There you go the amp has changed to 160 meter. Now what I'm going to do I'm going to switch the dummy load on the other radio that is on 80 meter and let's check it out okay hold on a second there you go i'm gonna transmit the i will send a tune you see it detect automatically 80 meter so this amp is perfect if you want to use multiple radios in the shack and want to use the same amp without having a lot of cable or interfacing problem. So this is very, very cool. This concludes this video. I hope you did enjoy. If you like, please do a like and please subscribe to be notified for my next video when it's gonna be online. This amplifier is awesome. I highly recommend it. The people at Spalstar give a great service. Really like it. A very, very nice piece of equipment to have in the shack. And for now, I'll say 73. Catch you some other time.